بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله My dear student, greeting to you all Today, inshallah, we will carry on with our English language lessons My name is teacher Inas Al-Hadithi So as you can see on the screen, my dear student Today we will be concluding our unit greetings This is the second part, part number two of lesson number four We already started lesson number four in the previous lesson we talked more about the opposite. I will I will give you more exercises now. Also, we talked about the possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. So let's start Bismillah. By the end of the lesson, my dear student, you are expected, inshallah, to complete several exercises regarding opposites and demonstrative pronoun. You will be able to use this and that correctly. Also, we'll be using these and those. How can we use them? When do we use them? We will find out in this lesson. This is the um, this is a picture that will tell you what is our unit about. It was about a greetings. Greetings is our unit, and this is the last lesson. So let's start. In the previous lesson, we talked about opposite. What do we mean by opposite? When I have two things that are not the same, they are different, completely different. The opposite. For example, I need you to take a look at these two pictures. To your left, I have two men. Okay? They are both men, but something is different about each and every one of them. One of them is very strong. Strong. The other one is not. Weak. Okay? Opposite. Also, I have two animals. Two animals. I have a turtle and I have a rabbit. The rabbit is fast while the turtle is slow. Okay, opposite. That's what we mean by opposite. Two different adjectives that have the opposite meaning. Okay, let's talk more about the adjectives that we took in the previous lesson. For example, these two balls. As you can see, I have a big ball and I have a small one. So, what are the adjectives here? Big, the opposite is small, big and small. Let's have another example. I have a boy and a girl. The boy is tall, while the girl is short. Two opposite adjectives. Now, let me check your understanding, my dear student. Circle the short. To your left, I have two boys. So circle the short boy. Point and tell me, where's the short boy? Is he wearing a red shirt or a blue shirt? What do you think? Actually, the one with the blue shirt is the short boy. Also, I have a tree and a small plant. Circle the short one. The short is this small plant. Very good, my dear student. That's what we mean by short. Here I need you to do the opposite. Circle the tall. I have a giraffe and I have a cat. Which one or which animal do you think is taller? Actually, it is the giraffe. The giraffe is tall. Excellent. In the next picture, I have two vans. Two vans. Which one do you think, my dear student, is tall. It is the green one. Very good. It is the green fan. Very good. Now, I need you to complete with the correct answer. Describe each and every man based on the picture with the correct adjective. Now, you have to use the opposite one. Okay? So, what do you think? Let me give you 10 seconds. Try to do this on your own. Remember that you need to choose two opposite adjectives. Shall we use a uh, tall and short, big and small? What do you think? The answer is very good. The man to your left is fat, while the man to your right is thin. Very good. So let's read our answers. Fat, thin. Fat, thin. Very good, very good, my dear students. Let's have another example. 
Here I have two, two friends. Let's describe them. Pick the right adjective and then go with the opposite one. So shall we use fat and thin here? <coughs> no. So what do you think? Can we use small and big? So, to your left, the man is short. Very good, short. While his friend is, is tall. Very good, while his friend is tall. So, let's read our answers. Short, tall. He is short and the other man is tall. Very good, very good, my dear student. Now, select the picture that represents the word tall. Have two boys, two animals. Which boy is taller than the other one? What do you think? Both of them wearing blue. Which one is tall? Point at your screen. I hope you are pointing at this boy. He is tall. Very good, he is tall. Second picture, what do you think? I have a dog and I have a giraffe. Circle the or point to your screen at the a uh, tall animal. I hope you are pointing at the correct one, which is the giraffe. Very good. So each and every one of these answers represent the word tall. The other one or the opposite is short, short. Same here, different adjective. Two flowers, circle the short flower, circle the short flower. Is it the yellow flower or the pink red flower? What do you think? I hope you are pointing at the correct answer, which is this one. Very good. This is the short flower. Next, I have two ladders. Two ladders. Okay. Which ladder is short? Which ladder is short? I hope you are pointing at this ladder. Very good. So. Take a look at these pictures, these two pictures, we circled the short item or the short object, okay? Now, I have three pictures for you. Who is short among the three pictures? Is it picture A, picture B, picture C? I will give you 10 seconds to decide. What is the answer? Is it picture A, picture B, or picture C? Short. So, I guess you were sm you're smart enough to know that the answer is C. C is short. But let me give you another question about this picture also. Who is fat, my dear student? Who is fat in this picture? Do we, use, do we go ahead with the same answer? Is it C? Is C fat? No, actually you will use or you will choose answer A. He is fat. Very good. So A is fat, C is short, while B is, we might describe him by tall or thin, right? Tall or thin. Very good. Now, have your books ready at page 19, my dear student. Page 19, we'll be talking about demonstrative pronouns. What do we mean by demonstrative pronouns and why do we use demonstrative pronouns, my dear student? As you can see here in this picture, we will be focusing first on the singular. This and that. Now. I need to ask you a question first. How many apples do you see here in the first box? How many apples do you see? Actually, we can say one apple, right? So it is singular. We'll be talking about singular. Also in the second app, in the second picture, I can see only one apple. So both pictures, we can see just one apple, singular. But something is different between picture number one and picture number two. What do you think? We have the same picture, the same apple, one apple, right?
But something is different between picture number one and picture number two. The first picture, the apple is near the speaker. Because it's near and because it is singular, we will use the demonstrative pronoun this. This is an apple. Okay? But for the second picture, is the apple near my dear student? Is it close to the speaker? No. Actually, it is far away from the speaker. That's why we will use that is an apple. Again, because I have one item here. Could be a book, it could be a door, it could be a anything. But remember, it has to be one. Okay? Here I have one apple in both pictures. But in the first picture, it is near the speaker. So we will use this is an apple. Second one, the apple is far away from the speaker. We will be using that is an apple. Okay? Now, let's go to this exercise and check your understanding. When we use this or that, remember, both we're talking about singular. For the first one, I give an example. The lion is close, we will use this. The hippo is far, we will use that. Okay? So let's start with number one. Complete. Is a bike. So what do you think, my dear student? This or that? This or that? Now, be careful. Or pay attention to the closeness or the farness of the adjective. The bike is near the speaker. That's why we will use this. This is a bike. Very good, my dear student. This is a bike. Now, let, let's go to number two. I have a ball, right? Is it close? Is it near? Actually, no. It's far from me. So, because it's far and it's singular, we will use the demonstrative pronoun that. That is a ball. That is a ball. Very good. Now, I will give you 10 seconds to do number three and number four. Remember, if it's close or near, you will use this. If it is far, you will use that. We have a train and we have a car. Shall we use this or that? Okay, let's start with number three. We have a train. It's near. We will use this. This is a train. Very good. This is a train. Same for the car. It's near. We will use this is a car. Let's read our answers one more time. This is a bike. That is a ball. This is a train. This is a car. Very good, my dear student. Now, Let's add more items here. Before we had one apple, right? As you can see on the upper part. This is an apple, that is an apple. But let's add more apples now. Plural, okay? So because we have more apples, we'll be focusing on this part. I have one, two, three. I have three apples. So we are not going to use this or that here. We are going to use more or different demonstrative pronouns. Because I have more apples, I'll be using these are apples because they are near me, right? But let's say the apples are far away from me. I'll be using the demonstrative pronoun those. So let's read our answers one more time. These are apples. Those are apples. Now let's read singular and plural. Okay? This is an apple. That is an apple. These are apples. Those are apples. Very good, my dear student. Now let's have different exercises and here we are going to use these and those as well. 
For the first one, first you have to decide, is it singular or plural? Okay? For the first one, I have a cat. So what do you think? One cat. What is this? Or what is that, my dear student? The answer is this. Why? Because it is near the speaker. Look at the arrow. For the second one, I have a snake. Is it near or is it far? Because it is far, we will use that. What is that? That is a snake. Very good. Next. How many cars can you see? One, two, three. I have three cars. So, these or those. What are? Very good. What are these? What are these? Because they are near. These are red cars. Now I have one, two. I have two. Two books. What do you think? Are they near or far? They are far. We will use those. What are those? Those are my books. Next I have one, two, three, four, five pencils. Because I have plural, we will be using these or those. The answer is these. What are these? Very good. Last exercise here. I have one tree, singular. So it could be this or that. The answer is what is this? Very good, my dear student, because it is close or near the speaker. Very good. Now, I need you to open your books at page 19. Okay? We will be, I will zoom uh, the upper part and then later move to the lower part. For the upper part, my dear student, look, choose, and complete. So here we will combine the opposite, the adjectives, and with the demonstrator pronouns. Man is. So what do you think? This man or that man, my dear student? The answer is this man. Very good. This man is what? What do you think? This man. Let's describe him. Is he fat or thin? This man is thin. Very good, my dear student. Make sure you are writing the correct answers in your books. Now let's go to number two. Pencils are plural, so it's either these or those. Is it, is it near or far? Because it's near, these pencils are what? Are they tall or short, my dear student? Are they tall or short? Actually, they are short pencils. Very good. Let's go to number three. Pen is, now look at the pen. Because it's singular and far, that pen is. Now let's describe the pen. Do you think it's a small pe pen? Now look at the hand of the man. He is hardly holding the pen because it is very big. Excellent. Let's go to number four. I have cats. Not cat, cat plural. And they are far away. Those Cats are, what do you think? Those cats are, those cats are fat. Those cats are fat. Very good, very good, my dear student. On the lower part of page 19, I have phonics. Two letters, different sounds. So, if I combine two letters, C and H, P and H, I will have a different sound, okay? Let me read the, uh, the words and then I will give you more examples. The first, pic the first picture, I have the word teacher. Cha, cha. Teacher. Next one. Chair. Cha, cha. Chair. Okay. Now, the sound is cha. Let's go to the third picture. Photo. Fa. P and H, the sound is th, photo. Fourth picture, telephone, telephone. So here I have two sounds, ch and th. Let's have more examples, my dear student. Here I have C with H, the sound is ch. Let's read. I have chop, 
cheese, cheek, child, chat, chained, children, ch chain, chips, chew, chase, chick, choke, chose. Now notice all these sound is the same. Cha, cha, cha. Now let's move to the other sound. P with H is F. Phone. Nephew. Phonix. Sphere. Phantom. Physics. Pharmacy. Orphan. Graph. Dolphin. Morphine. Telephone. Dictaphone. Microphone. P with H. Sound F. Notice all. Doesn't matter if it's at the beginning, the middle, or at the end of the word. Same sound. F, F, F. Now, let's revise what we have learned in this lesson, my dear student. We revised or we have more exercises about opposite adjectives. Fat, thin, short, tall. Also, we introduced demonstrative uh, pronouns like this, that, these, and those. And we read some new sounds, ch and fa. So that's my lesson, my dear student. Until I see you next time, stay safe. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.